And Governor of Zamfara State, Belo Matawale, has appealed to Nigerians traveling abro abroad to be careful in dealing with other passengers on board. The governor made the appeal when he received Ibrahim Abubakar, a native of the state who was arrested in Jeddah in 2017 after authorities discovered illegal drugs in his bag. After a series of court proceedings, the appellate court dismissed his case due to the failure of prosecution, prosecuting counsel to prove the case. Theophilos Darofai reports. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is one of the countries with a zero tolerance for consumption and trafficking of hot drugs. <laughs> Ibrahim Abubakar, a native of Zamfara State, was arrested in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia in 2017. He was detained by the Saudi Arabian authorities for over three years for allegedly being in possession of a bag suspected to contain illicit drugs. After a series of court proceedings, the appellate court dismissed Ibrahim's case due to the failure of the prosecution to prove his guilt. The Speaker of the House of Representatives has made some far-reaching proposals to the Ghanaian government that would bring an end to the attacks on Nigerian traders doing business in Ghana. During a legislative diplomacy bilateral meeting with Ghanaian lawmakers and some top government officials as part of his ongoing visit to Ghana to resolve the crisis, Femi Bajabia Mila advocated for an amicable settlement of trade disputes through arbitration and fair judicial processes. The speaker also said he would be glad to champion a law to improve the bilateral trade relations between Nigeria and Ghana, noting that nationals of both countries remain brothers and sisters. He called on Ghanaian authorities to revisit the component of the law that requires a capital base of $1 million for businesses to start, saying as Africans, Ghana should encourage brotherliness. And still on legal matter, the president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Olumidi Akbata, says he will take further steps in ensuring that Yahaya Sharif Aminu exercises his constitutional right to appeal his death sentence and to be represented by a lawyer of his choice. The NBA, through his National Publicity Secretary, Rapu Luchuku Ernest Unduka, stated this on Thursday after embarking on a fact-finding mission. Sharif Aminu was sentenced to death last month by the Kano Upper Sharia Court upon his conviction, conviction for blasphemy. Governor Ibrahim Ganduje then promised to sign the execution warrant if Yahaya Sharif Aminu fails to appeal the death sentence within 30 days as allowed by law, which expires by September the 10th. On Wednesday, the NBA First Vice President John, John Aikpopo Martins and the National Welfare Secretary Kunle Edun sought audience with the Deputy Controller of the Correctional Center, Magaji Abdullahi. But upon his absence, the NBA national officers met the second in command, who refused to allow them to see the inmate, even after he phoned his superior. The NBA team also confirmed that Yahaya Sharif Aminu has been denied access to any lawyer since his conviction, and that he wasn't even represented by a lawyer during the trial. To politics in a dose state, a vote for the People's Democratic Party will guarantee the rights of the people of Edo to protect, the, protect and control the resources of their own state. This is a statement of the party to the people of Igbanke in Oriongo local government area, when former vice presidential candidate Peter Obi and the governor of Delta State, Ifai Okonwa, joined the campaign for the re-election of Governor Godwin Obaseki. Paul Ezenwa reports. The people of Ibanke is hosting the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party as the campaign train arrives in the area. The visitors appeal to the people to sustain their support for the PDP in order to have firm control of their resources. With the administration of Governor Goblin Obaseke assuring that their welfare will continue to receive priority attention.